That was pretty fun. Harder than I imagined too. On today's episode of Watch Jerry we put new doors on my 2016 Kia Optima. What is going on guys? I am Wash Chairgo and today I am here with my 2016 Copart Kia Optima EX LX EX. I almost you know what I forgot what trim it is. But today we've got parts and the windshield is on the way and the body man who does the windshields Ryan is on the way and this episode is sponsored by JJ Auto Wrecking. Right here we have a very 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 large box of parts that just showed up from Ohio and a uh, huge shout out to my UPS man, the friendly UPS man who delivers every package from these guys and he knows what's up. He calls beforehand and asks if I want the engines or whatever is being dropped off, dropped off here or dropped off at Josh's down the street. Look what we have here, a robot lawnmower and some boxes from J&J &J, as always. I'm gonna say, uh, are you ready for this one? I hear that it's a very big box. It's a very big. Well, I'm gonna have to pull this out. Uh-huh. Just to get that out. If you leave this one, I like the logos on it. I'll take that too. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you would. <laughs> that guy's awesome. And J, J Auto Wrecking is truly awesome because they can chip anything. They built this giant pallet set up, two layers. It's got a door down there, a door up here. Look at that. Came with some fun noodles for the pool. It's got a seat in there. This is the exact seat that goes in the car. The exact doors for the car don't have to do any more work. So let's get all this open. And if you guys are looking for parts for your car, make sure you head on over to jnjoh.com. They've got everything. Their eBay store lists tons and tons of parts. If it's not listed, they have like 700 cars. If you guys remember, we took the Alpina up to their salvage yard recently and had a lot of fun. They've got so many parts. They've always got whatever I need and just huge thank you to them for getting all this crated up and out so quickly. They've got parts for anything. As you saw, they've got tons and tons and tons of Hummers. They have so much stuff for Hummers that they have stock that is powder coated in like black and different colors ready to go on your Hummer. If you have an H2, H3 need parts for that. If you've got parts, LS needs whatever you need, make sure you call them first. I'll put a link in the description below to their website. They always take care of me. I know they'll take care of you guys. I love working with them. They had everything I needed and we're gonna unpack all this and we'll lay it all out here real quick so you guys can see what we're working with. And I think you're gonna be impressed. Ryan showed up just in time. We got the boxes outside. There is what's left of all the pallets and everything. Here's our brand new door. Look at that. Not a dent on it. It's beautiful. And uh, the windows are even tinted. So that's gonna make our life easy because these windows are tinted. We can start pulling off our crash wrap, which I kind of started pulling off the fun way earlier. Our crash wrap is leaving. Oh yeah. And now we're back to seeing the damage for the first time in a long time. This is part of today's to-do list right there. Ryan's gonna help. I don't know what I'm doing, that's for sure. And new glass right there. Uh, we're gonna close this door and try to cool it down in here a little bit. Check this out, this is the new seat they sent. Not only is it the cloth seat with the correct pattern, it's the clean text fabric. It's an exact match to this one. So that saves me a whole lot of work trying to stitch that seat back together with a new airbag in there. Oh man, the clips aren't even breaking. <laughs> this is amazing. It's got a little chunk right. Oh no, nope. it's not damaged. Should be good. All right. You need the wipers off or? Yeah. These go, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Those are what hold your cow on. So that's the primer stick? Yes, sir. That's oh, fun with all these little tabs, huh? Yes. I guess you just get to go right over them, that's... Oh, yeah. This is the fastest glass man in the Midwest right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled out his six-shooter. <laughs> Windshields for days. The sweatiest glass man in the Midwest. Oh, man, me too. Working out the big spatula here. So 
I think we're ready to lift this thing out now. Is that car is super hot. It's been outside all day. <laughs> I just got in here and you're like, I'm coming. <laughs> oh man. So this is a factory windshield car. If you guys look at this, it has these little tabs and these tabs even have like sound deadening on them. There's a little layer of rubber right there. And these tabs lock into the metal right there. So this thing lines up perfectly every time, which is really cool. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I assume the new one comes with seals and everything? The new one does not come with seals. It's actually, the aftermarket listing shows a floating windshield. Oh. Ah. Huh. So I'll clean this out. Yeah. And it actually, you won't have a seal at all. Nice. Just nail it in there? Yep. I like it. Hey, this is a perfect time to clean the deck. Oh yeah. <laughs> the only time. The only time, actually, yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, and all the tabs are still in there. I see, I see. Throw all those away. Bunch more fell down inside it. There's more factory alignment pieces. Well, that was super fast. Brand new glass, makes everything look like a new car. That is awesome. And now, for the fun part here. Oh, the mirror? Yep. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> it's not even auto dimming? Nope. Never mind. I don't like this car anymore. <laughs> I can't believe a car in 2016 did not have an auto dimming mirror. Time to hang this front door, see what it looks like. Probably make it look brand new immediately. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the door, throw it on. He put in all four of the door bolts already and the check straps in and the wiring because of course there's only five bolts to hold the door on so once this is sitting on there we can actually check to see if it closes and uh, how much work this pillar is going to need here and then i could probably take this off throw it in the trap now nice All right, door two. Behind door. I really hope this pillar hasn't moved, but I guess it is some weak freaking metal. Yeah. I'm kind of impressed by how thin it is. I'm going to do the same thing again. Start this in the hinges and go ahead and lash yours. <laughs> She's just a tad off. It's, yeah, okay. I want to see it though. Well, shoot. Not as easy as I no. no. Definitely not, but it's not, still not horrible though, really. And we've got a new set of doors. Look how good it looks. The car looks so much more complete. Also glass, as you guys saw the entire glass process. Man, that is so much better. No crack, no more damage. And I mean, this car is coming together really quick. So the problem is obviously hinges, they're all stretched out on that door because when it got hit, pulls all the metal like that and you know, things move around. So we're gonna move them back around on Saturday. We're gonna throw it on the frame machine for a little bit, try to pull the pillar back and uh, we'll have new hinges. I, the hinges are on me. I think J&J &J asked if I wanted them and I said I didn't think so because they looked like they were fine. 
bad decision, bad call. But uh, yeah, so there's a little bit of pulling on this pillar. We'll have it back in place, touch up the black right there, and this thing will look absolutely perfect. Everything will be straight as an arrow. It's almost there right now, but you can see that a little bit of tweak down there on that door, and uh, hinges don't wanna line up perfectly on this door. But we plugged in the door, everything worked immediately, as you'd expect. Look at that. So this thing's mostly back together and uh, the shop with the frame machine's not far. I'm gonna go ahead and get this side curtain airbag in real quick. That shouldn't take very long at all. There's only a few fasteners. One, two, three, four, five, six, or something like that to get the side curtain up in there. And uh, I'll take the old one out, obviously, because we just cut it out with scissors. After the side curtain's done, we're just waiting on that airbag module and the seatbelt pretensioner that we sent out in the last video. Excited to get all this back and have a perfect car. I'm not gonna wanna get rid of this thing. It's so nice to drive, but we're gonna sell it. Honestly, uh, I think the book value is 13. I don't think we'll have any problem getting 10 for the car, and I will have about five in the car. Windshield was 130, airbag stuff was another couple hundred, I think a couple hundred out the door, uh, 197, something like that. And man, this thing is going to be back together and rocking. I would really, really, really love to put the seat in right now, but without the uh, seatbelt pretensioner, it'll just make it a pain to put the seatbelt pretensioner in, so I don't wanna do that yet. Okay, all the trims out of the way. I'm gonna start right there. That bolt, that bolt. Uh, I don't think there's anything right there. A couple bolts right in there. A couple more bolts down there. And we'll be able to drop the old side curtain. Of course, there's just uh, one more of those little squeeze connectors to get the airbag uh, inflator off there. And once I get that unhooked, I can start swapping this thing in. Working the side current into the headliner takes a lot longer than you'd expect, but I did get all of this junk. Let's get everything here out. There's the old one. There's the most of the parts. Actually, I think that's all of it. So uh, I went ahead and laid that one in there so I'd have a pattern what bolts I needed to take out. And now I'm just slowly working them back in. We'll put the headliner back in, put the trim back in, and it's already plugged in, ready to be hooked up as soon as the airbag module is back. I mean, obviously it's connected because it's not fun to connect that once it's all back together. All right, check this out. Hey, headliner all back together. This piece of trim here, we'll pull in all of this, make it look right. Side curtains all in there trims all back in, all the seals are back where they belong. It is ready to be assembled. All that's left is seat belt pretensioner, seat belt, obviously, airbag module, and a seat, and then a little frame moving. So luckily, none of this will be back. When we start moving the frame around, makes it easy to get in there, and uh, we'll get this thing right back together. Hopefully Saturday, it's finally done. Then, of course, the fun part, I have to go register the car, go through the VIN inspection, they don't really do anything. They just take pictures of what the car used to look like. Say, is it crashed now? It's not crashed now, it's fixed. And uh, then wait quite a few days for a title to come in so I can sell the car. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to j, j Auto Parts. Like I said, link in the description below for all of the parts to make this thing happen. Uh, I'm pretty excited to get it back on the road and drive it and, uh, and then get it out of my life because I've got other cars to put in here. The R8 probably be back soon. Look at that glass. That glass looks cool. This is such an awesome piece of glass with the little tooth on top. Anyway, don't forget to head on over to shop, watch where you can get cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and I will talk to you next time. I'm tired, that actually took a lot of work to get that airbag all back in there and working completely blind with just the little tiny ratchet up in there for all the tens. It's all tens, can't beat that. And then uh, Phillips to get the handles out. So, at least it's done. I was asked to take the Lamborghini video down, so I guess instead of that, you guys can take a look at my fish, America. America looks like he's sleeping a little bit there. America!